All right, we're back at the second part of part two of knees for squat rehab. And we're looking at angles now. So if I come around this way, Aaron's going to show us a bad angle forward of the knee. So meaning the knees go too far forward. So when he squats, this is obviously, you look at this and go, yeah, that's bad form. But we've got to try and work out, okay, well, why is he doing that? Is it hips? Is it, is it his back? Um, and how are we going to correct that form? Not just by, hey, don't do that. We're actually going to get him doing exercises to help correct that. The second thing is when people sit backwards too far and they're almost like doing a good morning or like a year like that. They're trying to squat, but they look like they're doing a deadlift. And so the knees aren't going too far forward at this stage. And sometimes that can be, you know, tightness of the calf here. Okay, so too much tightness going on here, or just not enough confidence around the hip um, to let that knee go forward. Um, and that's something we're going to work on. So let's um, go through some exercises with Baron. So he's going to film me. So the first one we want to work on is how do we get your angles going forward correctly? And the best one for that, I reckon, is a physio lunge. So when, and if I what you can do, if you can have a mirror facing me, so I can see there's a mirror behind Aaron here, and he can, I can see myself here. What it does is allows me to get my angles correct when I'm not under load, all right? So, and especially one leg, because it might be that one leg is the problem over the other leg. So if someone's strong on one leg and not on the other, they might have an angle problem on one side. So when you do a lunge, say, in a group class setting, most people lunge like this. Right, but we don't squat like that, it's too vertical. So what I'm going to get you doing is a physio lunge, which means you go forward on all angles. So my back, my back leg, and my shin all come forward to the same angle. Right? And I can sort of check myself in the mirror and make sure that's happening so I'm not too far forward or too far back. So when I come down, my knee does travel forward, my body travels forward, and so there's a lot of flexion going on at the hip, right? And then I push them back. Now, some people say, oh, you're not allowed to let your knee travel forward past your toes. But the problem with that is, yes, you do. Because this is a squat position. If you look at that, that's my squat position, okay? So when I come down to the squat, it's a physio lunge, okay? You got the idea? It's the same position as a squat. I'm just trying to perfect my angle of my back and the angle of my knees so I'm not having my knees too far forward or I'm not having my back too far forward. Alright? So just recapping that, having a look in the mirror, checking out is my are my angles correct. Make sure you, know, you don't be too far forward because that's you know that's part of the bad squat we showed before. Right? You don't want to be too far forward and you don't want to be too upright. But just getting that movement correct, okay? in that position and practicing that quite a lot. The good thing about a physio lunge is you can actually practice your knee interrotation, which is what we talked about before as well, and put bands on there as well to try and correct that and get the hips in the right position. So when you squat, they're actually helping out the hip muscle as well. Okay, so physio lunge is a really good way of doing that. Other things you've got to look at to get the angles correct is how tight are your calves, okay? So make sure you've got enough calf flexibility by doing calf stretches. And my favorite is just coming up against the wall like this. And the trick with this one is, is it your upper calf here? Or is it the actual range of movement, the ankle or the Achilles? So if it's the upper calf, you wanna make sure you are locking that knee straight and then really coming forward and pushing with the back foot and coming forward until you feel it up here, all right? So that's your upper calf, your gastroc. If it's the lower calf, or your Achilles, or your dorsiflexion problems in the ankle, you really need to push that knee forward and then drive with the back foot and just push that forward until you feel that stretching in here. But you don't want to get into a pinching position in here, though. Okay, um, if you're getting a pinching position here, you've probably got some sort of stiffness in the joint which you may need mobilized as well. So just be careful of that. So those are the ones we want to work on, right? Thinking about getting your angles forward, making sure the knees are not too far forward, okay? And 
the hip or in the body is not too far forward by getting them parallel together in a physio lunge. Um, and with the knees going too far forward, sometimes it's a hip problem or a pelvic issue. So have a look at the next section on pelvis and what we're doing with correcting the pelvis and the hips to make sure that that neutral spine is correct and that core stability is correct so you can um, get a more confident position of getting the, your pelvis down and back rather than just leaving it forward. Because people who, people who squat and their knees come forward like that, they're not very confident in here. So their, their core stability or their hip stability and flexibility and mobility is not great and so they don't trust it. So when they squat down, they either run out of range here or confidence here and strength here, so they just push their knees forward. So having knees going forward may be more of a problem about further up the chain. So looking from, instead of just correcting, oh, don't let your knees come forward, maybe it's a problem up here that you need to address. So check that out in part three.